Ayo, duckies! Andy Lippy here. Just as I thought technology couldn't creep me out anymore, NVIDIA go and put the icing on the cake. I'm recording this right now, no edits or anything, and I'm not actually looking at you. I'm reading a script, and no, not through my usual teleprompter. What, viewer, don't believe me? Then check this out. Y yeah, I know, it's so weird, but I just weirdly love it. So let's take a look at how NVIDIA's new eye contact feature for NVIDIA Broadcast works. Remember, if you like the video, then press that corresponding button, ducky, to help me keep doing this content. Obviously, if you are new, smash the subscribe too. It's free and you won't miss any insane streaming tips. Put your rock in for the stone. Just in case you didn't know, NVIDIA Broadcast is a piece of software that utilizes AI technology to enhance video conferencing and streaming experiences. It does require some hefty PC power, like it's RTX or the highway, baby. One of NVIDIA Broadcast's brand new features is the eye contact feature, which uses the user's webcam and NVIDIA's AI technology to adjust the positioning of the user's eyes in real time, making it appear as if the user is making direct eye contact with a person or people they are communicating to. This can help to make the communication experience feel more natural and engaging. Just saying that sentence creeps me out. Does it creep you out? Let me know in the comments below. The eye contact feature works by analyzing the user's face and eyes in real time using computer vision and deep learning algorithms. It then adjusts the position of the eyes in the video stream to match the position of the eyes in the real world. This is done by analyzing the user's facial expressions, head movements and gaze, direction and using all that information to adjust the position of the eyes in the video stream accordingly. This can help make the communication experience feel more personal and engaging, as the person on the other end of the call or stream will feel as if they are making direct eye contact with the user. In theory, this could really help a streamer create a deeper, more personal interaction with their viewers. Installing NVIDIA Broadcast's eye contact feature is a straightforward process. Step 1. Make sure your computer meets the system requirements for NVIDIA Broadcast. This includes having a compatible NVIDIA GPU and a webcam. I will leave a link in the description for NVIDIA Broadcast system requirements. Step 2. Download the latest version of the NVIDIA Broadcast software from the NVIDIA website. Again, link in the description. Step 3. Install the software by following the prompts in the installer. You will need to accept the agreements and all that jazz. If your NVIDIA graphics drivers are not up to date, you will get an error like the one you are seeing on screen now. So make sure it is updated. You can do that through GeForce Experience or all the other manual ways. Step four, once the installation is complete, open NVIDIA Broadcast. Step five, go to the camera menu and ensure that your webcam is selected as the camera source. Under the effects tab, you will see a new option that's in some random language. Uh, nice one, Nvidia. Turn that on. And step seven, once the eye contact feature is enabled, you should be able to see the effect in your video stream. And finally, you can now test this feature in OBS or a different video call software to see how it looks to other people. Lighting and camera setup will make your mileage vary. As you can see, the reflection from my Elgato key lights in my glasses are sending it a little haywire. But in fairness, I shouldn't have them set up like this. If I adjust one, you will see a huge difference in performance and quality. So just fiddle around with your setup until you get the look that you are wanting. Having your camera closer to your face or zoomed in really makes a difference on how well this works. I use the internal camera settings to zoom in and it makes a huge difference to the performance of the eye contact effect. To get all of this working inside OBS is also very simple to do. Open up OBS and go to the sources panel, click the plus button to add a new source and select video capture device. In the create slash select source window, give the source a name and press OK. 
On the device drop down, select NVIDIA Broadcast Camera as the actual device. You can adjust all the other settings as required, but the defaults should work just fine. Click OK to add the NVIDIA Broadcast Camera as a source in OBS, and then to adjust like the eye contact feature and all the other effects, just head back into NVIDIA Broadcast and you can adjust all the settings again to your desired look. Now I have this in OBS, I can show you side by side what this looks like. So you have something to reference it by in real time. Uh, I did this by using multiple virtual cameras. If you want to know how I did it, let me know in the comments below and I'll make you a tutorial. You can also add NVIDIA Broadcast to any of your online call apps, such as Discord, Teams, Skype, or Zoom. You just need to head into the specified app, then when you are selecting your camera input, just choose the NVIDIA Broadcast Camera. Remember, if you are trying to use the camera output in many places at once, it can cause it to just be a blank black screen. But there are ways around of that using more virtual cameras. Uh, again, if you want to see the tutorial on that, then let me know in the comments below. Something great about NVIDIA Broadcast is the ability to stack multiple effects at the same time. So if you want to blur or remove the background, you can easily do that. NVIDIA also added another new feature in this update, which is the vignette effect that will simulate a lens effect by darkening the corners of your import. This kind of thing is totally already doable in OBS through a cheeky shader filter. They did add a cheeky face tracking feature to it though, which is a, a nice touch. There have also been a bunch of stability and general app improvements in this version too. It's worth noting that the eye contact feature is currently in beta and it could change in the future. Not to mention it may not work perfectly on all systems. If you do encounter any issues during the installation or use of the feature, then please reach out to Nvidia's customer support for assistance. And remember, your feedback can help improve software. Don't forget as well that using these effects can seriously impact your computer's performance. So so be sure to check Task Manager to see how many resources your computer is using when using these effects. You really don't want to crash your PC or anything like that, right? Jump to the Task Manager and go to Performance on the left. As you can see, I have a RTX 3070 and it jumps up like 30% when the eye contact effect is active. Don't forget, I am also running two OBS instances as well as many different effects, so your results may be different too. With all the effects that NVIDIA Broadcast offers, I'm interested. Tell me what your favorite NVIDIA Broadcast effect is below and let me know why and how you use it. Before you head out, crack that like button to do me a solid and subscribe so you can stay ahead of the streaming game. You can also stay ahead by checking out some of these insane videos and I'll see you over there. Put your rock in for the stone.